Good evening. After a more than two year wait, the 80th Iroquois steeplechase returns to Nashville. The final race is getting underway now as the tradition wraps up another year at Percy Warner Park. News Channel 5's Olivia Michael has been there with the rest of our team all day and joins us with the latest. Hard to believe after such a long wait, things are winding down here at the 80th Iroquois steeplechase. It's known as the right of spring here in Nashville, but this year it might be the right of summer after the event was postponed last May and canceled last year. Regardless, crowds still turned out in full force for the tradition and pageantry that is the Iroquois steeplechase. The first race began at one, but the celebration here began hours earlier. Today also included contests like best hat, overall style and best tailgate. But organizers tell us after 25 months without the race, this year's steeplechase was especially important. If you don't go to a race for two or three years, you may not go back. So we, we want this every year. We want it to continue. And I, I think you see today, I mean, look up there, it's a great crowd. Interesting fact, the race has only ever been canceled twice in its 80 year history. Once last year, of course, because of COVID and once in 1944 because of World War II. At the Iroquois Steeplechase, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5. Olivia, thank you. And a portion of proceeds from the event benefit the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt.